Jerry, welcome back. I, I'm sorry you had to come back, but uh, yeah, you're right. You're, you're in good hands if you come back. <laughs> the, that lesion on the side of your face that we did in an earlier video that people can go back and watch if they want, right. it, uh, you like the way I throw it in that little mm -hmm. direction there to keep the channel, yeah. <laughs> it is a YouTube channel after all. You guys are watching. Uh, the, the lesion came back showing nodular and superficial basal cell carcinoma, type of skin cancer. And we, we do need to get rid of all of it. It wasn't completely clear in the margins. So I spoke with Dr. Trauner, the surgeon we originally were going to send you to. Uh, and he said, well, first of all, he's the one who said we had to have a biopsy in order for him to treat you. And then he said, any remaining basal cell, the way to get rid of that is real simple. You use a, an instrument called a curette and you scrape on it fairly firm and you take off everything that comes off easily with the curette because the curette really only takes off cancerous tissue, not healthy tissue. Very good. Then you cauterize it, like then you that. do it again, then you cauterize it. So you do these three passes just right after another in succession. This is the instrument, uh, it's called a dermal curette mm -hmm. and it's, it's not super sharp so it's not going to cut into normal tissue but it does scrape away the dead tissue. We'll use that most surgeons will use electrocautery, the little electric current thing that you see a little, uh, a little bit of the current passing through a little arc and it smells like burning flesh. We don't use that here. We have one that's called chemical cautery with silver nitrate. Okay. We still have to keep an eye on it even after doing this treatment for it because it can come back after any treatment. Yeah. But this is a very effective, simple, relatively inexpensive treatment. Okay. Can I say thank you to all the viewers for the past videos? Oh, you saw what they wrote, the comments? I did, and the comments, they were awesome. Okay, so do keep commenting to Jerry. Yeah, yeah, they were, I mean, perfect strangers said the nicest things, and encouraging words, and thank you. Okay, that good. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool to do it, isn't it? Yeah. This is the part where we put it out. Somebody get the, the wrench. Is that a hammer? It's a big crescent wrench. We... Yeah, I can do that anywhere, anytime. <laughs> Here's the shot. And get this entire area. Ready? Sorry. Oh, you've been through this once before. Okay, that doesn't hurt. So putting in some anesthetic, lidocaine 1%, with a little bit of buffer. And I'm going to I'm up quite a broad area here. I don't want to go too much in the ear because I am using epinephrine. But we do want to get all the area that the curette takes off. So we'll do a rather large area. And the way this curette works is only the stuff that's supposed to come off does. Do you still feel it? No, not really. All right. I tell you what, it was really strange when I left here last time, though, because my ear was numb. Yeah. And hearing things, and it was like my equilibrium was off a little bit. It is a strange thing. Strange. So this is to keep the blood from blocking the ear, because it will bleed down into the ear canal. Oh yeah, it did exactly what you said it did. Yeah. Epinephrine's helping to limit the bleeding. Here we go, curatage. So it's a scraping. And normal skin doesn't come off. But there is a, a feeling that the operator can feel, that being me, mm -hmm. when it's going over the cancerous tissue, you can feel it coming off. So I'm going all the way to the edges that we, uh, can you feel it? I can. You, yeah, you can feel that roughness, right. the scratchiness. And then it goes away as you get it off. So that tells you where the cancer is and where it isn't. Amazing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Still scratching. Mm -hmm. But you can tell it goes smooth. When you do get it. All right, so we will. You didn't 
seeing the light shining through there. The light shining through. We, we didn't go that far, no. Cool. It starts. This is where the screaming starts. I'm pushing kind of hard. The reason I'm pushing hard is push all the blood out. Okay. Because cautery doesn't work well in a wet environment. All right. So that's one. And then we go through again with the curette. And start scraping again. Why don't you just do it with one, one scraping? Why don't we do it with one scraping? Yeah, because it gets too bloody. I actually don't know the reason hmm. that the standard is to do several, uh, to go back and do it three times. I, I, my assumption is that somewhere in the studies, somebody found that it's more effective to do it three times than to do it one time. But I actually haven't gone through that part of the literature myself. I've just gone through the textbooks that say this is the standard mm -hmm. way of doing it. And what's interesting is the curette is not taking off some of the area where we did the uh, cauterization. That is so cool that you read the comments. I think you're the first person to say something like that. No, yeah, my, uh, my daughter actually showed it to me. She showed you all the nice things they were saying? All right, let's get that. Pushing really hard on you here. And... Yeah, you can feel it there. Mm -hmm. It's a, about the size of a pencil, pencil eraser kind of area. Oh, it's even smaller than that. It's oh, just three millimeter, very yeah. small. That's why I have to do it a bunch to get the whole area because it is rather small. Let's see if I can empty it out here into the. Then you use a new tool each time. No, I'm using the same one. Yeah, yeah. same patient. Same, same lesion, same tool. Yeah, sure. They're disposable, so I'll throw it away after. Sounds like we're getting a lot right here. It's not bleeding heavily, but of course we have epinephrine in place to help keep it from bleeding a lot. All right, we're going to do the cautery again. Yeah, I'm glad it's not bleeding a lot. Pretty much right on the surface. It is. It's very superficial. Partial thickness, as they call it. All right. Number three. Same place. Yeah. Hey, if you enjoy this, go ahead and make comments to Jerry because he reads them. Read That's right, he does. Yeah, I enjoy it. If you want to see behind the scenes material like Boo Boo Kitty, Lindsay Antoine, and Petra Rosenberg, be sure to hit the Patreon link. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Until next time, Jerry and myself telling you to stay in good health. <laughs>